In this video, I just want to briefly go through several ways for importing data into MATLAB. <clears throat> Quite often, we use MATLAB to massage experimental data or to read in data from another code and manipulate it. And so the first step is getting the data into MATLAB in the first place. MATLAB can readily import spreadsheets, common delimited files, text files of any variety. Um, it also has tools for importing movies and images and audio. These last three I'm not going to address here. Um, if you get any of the signal processing or image processing tool toolboxes, those are probably the best approaches for importing these kind of multimedia files. But for these other three, just the standard MATLAB will do, and I'll show you how that works. Um, if you're just importing an Excel spreadsheet, there's a command called xlsread for doing this. Um, you can input the file name, the worksheet among a variety of worksheets that you want to import from, and even a range of data if you want just a specific set of data from a particular sheet. And um, if you give it three inputs, it will re return three values, one containing what it thinks is just numerical data, one containing everything else, and then a raw data set that contains everything. And a typical um, input for this is some A equals XLS read, the file name in single quotes, comma, the, sh the worksheet in single quotes. Fairly straightforward. There is an import wizard. You just go up to the file um, element in the menu, main menu in, in the command window of MATLAB, file slash import data. It walks you through a wizard. Um, it will import various data structures, again, depending on whether the, it thinks it can find numerical data versus text data. And um, then you have some opportunity to make selections as you go through there. And then uh, one thing I'll point out is if you want to automate this process because you're importing the same kind of data on a regular basis, you can click the Generate Code button, and then this will create an M file, a function essentially that you could call in the future and import the same kind of data in the same way. I'll walk through this um, process at the end of the uh, end of the video, so I won't say anything more about it now. There's an import data command that's somewhat more general than the XLS read, for example. It um, takes as arguments the file name, the delimiter in the file, and the, the line number where the header data is. And it returns um, the da imported data, the delimiter, and the header if you want it. So, for example, if we have... Uh, an Excel workbook, this XLS X is the Office 2007 version of um, file format for the Office 2000. Anyway, book1.xlsx, it's just a, a made up set of homework data that I made. So it has header data, it has um, columns with names, and then everything else is numerical. If I say ABC equals XLS read of book one dot XLSX and uh, it just had one sheet in it, so it grabbed the first sheet, then A will be the num numerical data, B will be the text data, both the first column and the first row, and just puts in double quotes where there were numbers, and then C is all this raw data that um, text variables come in as strings, the numerical variables come in as little um, one element arrays. If I um, save that file to a CSV file, a com comma delimited file, then I can use the import data to com command. I put the file name in single quotes. It's a little hard to see, but the second argument here is a comma in single quotes, denoting that um, the file is comma delimited and then there's a one here to show that the header data is in row one. Notice that it it returns a structure so I said A equals import data of all that stuff. A becomes a struct so there's a, a data element within A it's a four by three array of double precision numbers and there's a text data element in A and it's a five by four cell. 
if we want to access the data element of A, we just type A dot data and it shows us the numerical data. And if we type A dot text data, we get the um, text data, the first column, the first row, and then in this case, empty elements for where the numerical results were. And from there, you can you can manipulate that data however you please. There's also um, some more general stuff, a text scan um, routine for doing, uh, for importing data that's maybe more complicated than what we just looked at. There's some a couple of functions, sscanf and fscanf, that seem to be headed out, uh, so I don't know that I'd use those, but TextScan can be used for some more complicated input files. You can read binary files, so there are commands like fopen, fread, fwrite, um, that let you open a binary file and um, read it line by line, uh, write it back to another binary file, that sort of thing. So if you really need to to deal with binary files that don't already have some other kind of tools um, within MATLAB to, for opening them, you can do that with these commands. Uh, again, I'm not going to say any more about that. Um, so that's about it. Let me just uh, take a second to demonstrate how this um, import file wizard looks just so you can see it. So here I've just opened up MATLAB. I'm just going to go up here. I've gotten rid of the um, call it the windows sub windows I usually have on the left just so we can open up some more space. I'm going to just say file import data. I'm going to go to a CSV file. And so it shows me the raw data on the left. Again, it's comma delimited in this case. So you can see the commas. And then it shows me on the right how it's going to be broken out. Um, you can see there's three columns of numerical data here. Then uh, I had a couple of other constants up in my spreadsheet. And these other um, elements in these columns were blank. And so it brings in not a number in those. If I want, I can... Um, manipulate that data a little bit with by right clicking on it if I want to copy the data. I can look at the text data, it's just the headers and then column headers is the same thing. All right. I can change the delimiter here if I so desire. I go to the next window. It shows me the data. The column head and text data in this case are the same. I'm just going to get rid of one of those. If I want to look at these, column header again shows up on the right and the data shows up on the right. Again, I can copy this data and manipulate it somewhat now if I so choose. So now I can manipulate this data if I want. I've got a data and column header, call headers variable. If I look at data, it's all there. Okay. So that's basically it. That's how the you import at least simple sets of data. If you need more um, elaborate Examples, you might look on the MathWorks website.